Welcome back to Patio Cooking. We're doing that easy Cajun chicken alfredo pasta out here on the patio. Let's get started. So I got two medium sized chicken breasts right here and I'm gonna try to keep this thing from the plate to keep my board clean. And what I wanna do when I look at these chicken breasts is just cut all this little nasty fat off. Any weird pieces of chicken that I see, I don't know about in y'all's house, but uh, you know, chicken is definitely a touchy subject. Why, I don't really know. Anything like this, I gotta go ahead and take off because if somebody sees that, uh, nobody in the house is gonna eat it. Maybe different in yours, but this is what I gotta deal with in mine. So throw it on the board. And we're gonna give this, we're gonna cut it right down the middle right here oh yeah and this is just to give a little even little evenness to the chicken and we'll do the same thing to the other one so now I have more surface area to season this chicken with and it's also going to cook even that's what we're trying to accomplish with this extra step here so I'm still not done I'm gonna get a little ziplock bag spread it out even take a little mallet here and we're just gonna Beat it down till it's even all the way through, and we're gonna thin it out just a little bit. See, now it's nice and thin. We'll do the same with the other. There we go. We'll add just a little bit of oil to help the seasoning stick. Also help with that browning flavoring process. Ooh, both sides. With my clean hand, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Cajun seasoning. Use your favorite Cajun seasoning. Make your own, it don't matter, just add some Cajun seasoning. This is a really salty seasoning, so I'm gonna kinda be cautious with this, just a little thin layer. I'm gonna pat it in. I want it to have some flavor, but I don't want to uh, have an old super salt chicken breast, you know what I mean? And we'll do the other side. And your Cajun seasoning might not have near this much salt in it, but this one does. And it's just slap your mama seasoning, that's all it is. We're gonna add just a little bit of black pepper. Add it in. So now that we got these things seasoned up, we're about to get over to the grill, get these chicken breasts on. We got the Weber 22 fired up here, and we're doing some indirect cooking. This is how I cook chicken breast, but you do whatever you want to do. What we're gonna do right here, put the chicken down. We got the coals here. We got a little cool zone. We're just gonna lay them out, let them cook. The grill's already been preheating for 10, 15 minutes. And like I said, right here, we just got one full chimney of charcoal. We'll shut her down, and we'll get back over here and start making our sauce. I gotta get this old chicken juice off my hands. I'll be right back. Got these hands clean, got the board clean. Let's get this pasta in the water. Simple, simple, simple right here. All you wanna do, put a little oil in the pot. No particular amount. You're just trying to season that water up. I just got olive oil and then big pinches of salt right here. Season that water. If you didn't already know, put the pasta in there, just like that. We'll give them a few minutes and we'll see how our chicken's doing. Woo, the chicken is looking good. Let's give her an old flip. So the chicken still needs a little bit. Let's go over and start our sauce. You're gonna need a whole stick of butter, a little bit of olive oil. Move that around a little bit. I'm gonna cut my heat down. I'm on a medium heat. I got just one can of Rotel. That's a little generic, but you know, it'll work. Woo, we got three large cloves of garlic. And if you like garlic, add more. Simple enough, we'll give that a little stir. Get everything cooking right. Woo, it's smelling delicious. We gotta add a little bit of that Cajun, some black pepper, about a teaspoon of each. We'll let that simmer away for a couple minutes. Then we're gonna start off with about a cup of heavy whipping cream. We'll just mix it around. About another half cup. And we'll start adding a little bit of cream cheese. This is a whole block. We're going with a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. All right, so now that our sauce is starting to incorporate, it's almost fully melted down. I just want to give this just a little taste. Definitely needs some more Cajun seasoning. We're just going to go with a few more pinches. And that's the trick to it. You just got to cook and taste, cook and taste. A little more black pepper. And I've cut my heat down to simmer. I'm just going to let this sauce simmer for a good 10, 15 minutes. So after another little 10 minutes of this chicken, give it a little flip. Oh yeah, that's what you're wanting right there. That juicy. Let me show y'all what this is looking like. That is juicy chicken breast. Ooh, I know y'all saw that. All right, so with this chicken breast, we're looking for 165, and then we're going to pull it and add all this stuff together, and I guarantee you it's gonna be real good. Stay with me. So this sauce is done. All I'm doing now is giving this one last good stir. Now look at that, that's the consistency you want right there. But if it's not, just add a little more of that heavy cream or some of this pasta water, if that's your thing. 
I might be messing up right here because my pan is a little full, but we're still gonna try to bring some of this new dowel over to it. And that's the noodles. We're gonna see if we can't carefully mix all this up. That chicken's done and it's looking real good. <clears throat> the way I like to do this chicken when I get it off the grill for a pasta like this, cut it down the middle, and then I kind of just give it like a little julienne, whatever you want to call it. There it is right there. The grilled chicken Cajun pasta. Whew, I gotta try it. Get a little piece of this chicken, some of this new dowel. Here it goes. Oh, ah. <clears throat> For a, for a 30 to 20 minute recipe, I don't think you can beat it. I mean, I'm tasting the Alfredo, the Cajun seasoning, that grilled chicken, I mean, really levels this meal up. You just cannot beat that easy Cajun chicken. And I mean, grilling that chicken really sets it off. I mean, I'm tasting that Alfredo, that grilledness of the chicken, the Cajun seasoning, that garlic. Man, those noodles are cooked perfectly. I would highly recommend this meal. This can be done on a weeknight, weekend. Your kids are gonna like it. I have never made this where the whole house wasn't loving this meal. Y'all give this thing a try. Till next time, like, comment, subscribe. Man, that's good.